it's a world of exploitation. And I mean, NGOs exploitation. It's a world of, I would say, man's inhumanity to fellow humans, watching persons being killed. And uh, when I say being killed in a very terrible manner, I would say it's a dark world. The experience is pitch black. That's how I would describe it, pitch black. No human being should be subjected to such. How much more by fellow humans? How do we deter people, um, specifically young people, from following this path? To discourage such um, risky journeys, uh, not only for young ladies, but for everyone. Um, I would want to propose what I would call information empowerment. We still need to create more awareness, better awareness about risky and backing on risky journeys. During the investigation, I did come across young ladies who knew that they were being taken out of the country for sex work. However, they didn't know what awaited them at the other side. They didn't know, but they knew, yes, we are being moved out of the country for sex work. But of course, they never knew that horrendous experiences awaited them, and they never knew that they could be killed and their organs harvested. The job offer is sex work when they are taken out of the country, but they don't know that it's not just humans they'll be sleeping with. They don't know the amount of beating that will be tortured out there. They don't know the risk awaiting them out there. They don't know the danger. The traffickers' trolleys that go between uh, for the madams and the traffickers, the trolleys are those who um, the products, when they say products, they actually mean the victims to be taken out of the country to be trafficked. The, the trolleys would paint very beautiful picture. But once um, the young ladies or the young men are taken out of the vicinity they are familiar with, trouble begins. So many of them are not aware of this. Young persons out there, not just young ladies, young Nigerians should be better informed. I'm aware various organizations, even nonprofits, are trying their best, you know, going around, hey, see, stop the risky journeys. If I were to assess, I would say we still have more work to do. So we need to put more information out there. We are not doing enough. We need to put more information out there. Then besides empowering young persons with information, I would want to say that we need economic empowerment as well. Because during the course of my investigation, I uh, mingled with young persons who were university, uh, university graduates. And they decided, okay, maybe we are going to make it uh, when we get out of the country. So they embarked on the risky journey. We need to empower young persons in Nigeria. It would really help in curbing the rate of trafficking in the country.